Hi YouTube, this is Rapscallion, and today I bring you my design for a multi-item sorter. Uh, the design for this one is based on some concepts by Shuldy Freak in a video that he did uh, a couple of years ago, as well as a dropper item elevator design or a variation of the design uh, done by Techman88, who's also done some multi-item sorter concepts. Uh, this design is 100% silent, so there are no moving parts, there are no uh, clicking noises or sounds that come from this. It's relatively lag friendly as well. I've tried this in a number of worlds where there's a, a lot of other redstone machines going on and it doesn't noticeably impact lag. It is tileable as well, so you can move it in its current form side by side and have however many multi-item sorters filtering items into chests for this. It is seven blocks high by 13 blocks deep. By th It also doesn't require any sort of item slot reservation in chests. So the popular Tango Tech design where you have to fill your chest towers with all the items that you want to be able to filter for does not rely on that concept. Um, there can be some faults with that concept as well, especially if you have other users coming in, pulling items out of your chest, leaving open slots, your, your item sorter no longer works at that point. So how this one works, we've got our chest here, which we fill our items to sort for. In this case, I've got it set up for all different types of wool, but you can actually fill every slot for up to 54 different items to filter for into an output chest. The input is this hopper here, and you'll see that it's on a locking system. So when you put items into this, it'll lock and release one item into this filter below the chest to start filtering the items above it. Once it reads a signal from this item filter, it will trigger the redstone to release an item from the chest. If one matches, it will fall through. It'll send a longer redstone signal if there's a match, and it's going to lock the top hopper to push a match out through to this top uh, output. If there is no match, actually, sorry, before that, it'll push one item out to the top here. The matching item actually comes out of the chest as well and has to be fed back into the chest so they could reset for the next item. If there is no match, it'll simply just drop the item through, push it up through the tower, and drop it out to the other side on this um, hopper here. So let's show you what I mean. I'll fill this with both white wool and with cobblestone. And you can see that it's locking and unlocking in this hopper to begin with, letting an item out at a time after it's run its course for the first item before that. You'll see here that the white wool comes in and out as it's matching the item below it. It'll stop when it gets to the cobblestone and the cobblestone will just start traveling through the system as normal. So maybe we'll be able to see that here shortly and you'll be able to see what I mean. So there, the white wool has stopped matching. Cobblestone is now going through the system and it should be pushing out to here. So we'll be able to see our 16 white wool here already and we'll be able to see the cobblestone, the last of it, go to this hopper uh, with no match. So you saw that there was no sound in that. Um, I have the sound on, you heard me open the chest. I'll do it one more time. This is completely silent. It's relatively fast and uh, it's a, a pretty versatile system. I won't include a tutorial on how to build this, but I will include a world download for this system so you can download it play around with it i always appreciate feedback and input on improving the design this is probably one of the most compact multi-item systems uh, that's out there so let's take you over and i'll show you some um, practical applications for this multi-item sorter So let's look at this item sorter in a practical setting. I've set up five slices of the sorter with some added features uh, to see how we would use this in a survival world. So I have uh, a shulker unloader, I have a deposit chest, I have some quick access to the rear of the device if I need to, I have my unsorted items appearing here, 
I have a system flush, uh, which I'll explain a little bit later. I also have some overflow capabilities built into it as well. So in my shulker, I have a variety of items that I'm going to unload and match through the system. We have one column matching for wool, another for oak, another for redstone, another for stone bricks, and another for nether items. Everything else should end up in here. So let's take this shulker. We'll plop it on there. And you'll see that it's actually unloading right now. So let's go take a look at the system itself. Oh, also, I have an indicator set up to show you which slice is active and which is matching. So this is actually already matching for the wool. And you'll see that it's coming into the wool um, chest right now. So in this first slice, I'm matching for all types of wool and all types of carpet. Those will all feed into that first chest. In the second slice, I have all oak wood items. Take note that you see the oak sign in here as well. This system will match for both 64 stack and 16 stack items. Redstone, this is my variety of redstone items being sorted. I have any stone brick items being sorted into this chest. And the last chest is any nether items that I choose to put into that last chest. Okay, so we can watch this thing sort through um, as it's doing its thing. So right now it's matching some more oak. We see an oak button come through. We see our planks. We've got some wool in this chest. We're actually getting some matches in nether right now. We don't have any rejections just yet, but it's going to work its way through. So let's just see here how well this all goes. Okay, so our system's all done its sorting. You'll see the indicator lights are now off. So we should have all of our wool items into this first chest. All of our oak items, including the oak sign, has pushed into the oak column. All of our redstone items here. All of our stone brick items here. All of our nether items have pushed in here. Any rejections are gonna be moved into this chest. Take note also that this will push through non-stackable items. Putting a non-stackable item into your sorting system will not break it. This thing is pretty resilient in terms of the, the types of things that you can do with this. So a couple other things to mention here. There's always the concern of if you're unloading chunks or closing and opening your game, that if the system is sorting, things are gonna get stuck in the dropper item elevator. If you're ever worried that this might be the case, or if you start hearing ticking sounds, or it's not pushing things properly through. So let's say, let's say we've got some items that got jammed into the system here. I've got a spruce plank and I've got a jungle sapling. So let's say our jungle sapling got stuck in here. And let's say our spruce plank got stuck down at the bottom here. And those items are now in there. That's gonna cause problems as it's running. That's what this system flushes for. This is where you'll actually hear some sound. It's gonna fire all of those hoppers, droppers, sorry, and it's gonna push the items through. It should go ahead and push them through in that amount of time. You'll see our spruce plank is already in. Um, and there is our jungle sapling, just pushed through as well. So we can do a system flush if we're ever worried about any issues. All, all it does is that it sends a, uh, a signal down to these repeaters. Um, it just repeats the signal here, that's all it does. In addition, like I had mentioned, I'd built in some overflow protection to this, just with some um, observers and a dropper on the end here, so that if these chests and these hoppers all fill up, we're not gonna back up the system and get items stuck in the hopper and the droppers. Again, that will cause problems. What this does is if there's an item that sits in this dropper for too long, it'll recognize that signal and it'll shoot it out towards the front. So let's simulate that in our redstone slice. We're gonna simulate it by breaking this hopper here so that this will load up with items. So that as soon as we push some items through, and I'll get some redstone torches as an example. As soon as we push some items through the system, so it'll start sorting here shortly. 
There we go. So no match. Checking one here and here. No matches. Now we're doing three. It did the match. It's going to shoot it out the front here. There you go. So if you hear sounds, you know that you've got an overflow problem. It's going to click those items through and they'll be available there for you for pickup. This could result in some lost items if you're not around as it's doing this. But at that point, you've got a full stack of chests that have these items in them. So it might not be that much of a loss for you. So there we have it. That is my multi-item sorter. Um, hopefully we can test this out in some survival worlds and see how this, how well this works in practice. I'd love your, your comments below and um, always open for feedback and areas to improve upon the concept. Thanks. Have a great day.